Hi there, I'm Xander Ferguson. I'm a tight head prop for Glasgow Warriors in Scotland. Uh, my driving passion for rugby was part of my family. Um, I think my dad, my, my uncles, and everyone played growing, growing up, and um, they were all ran at school. And then, yeah, I sort of, I was probably a bit too big for football back in the day. Um, I had two left feet, wasn't very skillful, and so when I got told that I could tackle people and, and I wasn't going to get in trouble for it, yeah, I, thought, I sort of thought this is a sport for me. Um, so as I said, you know, I started in primary three, um, non-contact, and then primary five got, got into contact, and it's probably where I really fell in love with the game. Um, sort of the camaraderie with your mates as well, you know, passing the ball, the friendships you make, as well as it's a contact sport. And, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, I'm not a small guy, so I, I, quite, I really enjoy that side, that side of it. So I think for me, uh, the, the time when I really felt that I, I could actually be a professional rugby player and I really wanted to, to grab the opportunity with both hands was, was when I was at 15. Um, I, was at Str I moved school, so I was at Strathallan School. Um, my head of rugby was a guy called Andy Henderson who really sort of lit that fire in me um, and sort of said, you know, if you really buy into this, you, you, can, you can make it. Um, and I sort of was at a crossroads. I was doing a lot of mountain biking as well. They want me to get a bit slimmer and lose a bit of weight and rugby want me to move to prop. And I chose the easy option, I mean, uh, moved to prop, but uh, it's, turned, it's, it's turned out okay, so I can't complain. But yeah, I sort of, at that time, you know, I got into my uh, nutrition, as I said, I got into my s and and my strength and conditioning. And I was really lucky that I had some great coaches around me that really helped me and really, um, propel my love for the game even more so um, yeah here we are um, however many years later and um, still still driven every day to get better and really enjoying it but I think the key thing for me was yeah as I said you know just playing with your mates and doing something you love and, and doing it as a job is it's, it's a dream come true um, and I think seeing my dad and talking about him you know we used to watch Six Nations games back in the day when we were all at home and as a family and I've, I've always had rugby, rug, rugby in the household, so to, to be living out my dream and hoping to make my family proud is a, yeah, it's a, it's a dream come true. So I was a bit slimmer back in my old days. Um, if you ask my teammates, it's probably say I wasn't, but I was number eight and I moved to prop. And so uh, when they told me that uh, I had to put weight on, it was quite an exciting challenge, in which I grabbed with both hands. Um, so yeah, for me, nutrition, I first spoke about nutrition when I was about uh, 14, 15. Um, so uh, as soon as I got into the Caledonia uh, regional stuff and regional development, um, that's when we first, I first met a nutritionist and he told me everything I was doing was wrong, um, having cereal, cereal and toast for breakfast. Um, so now I'm on to eggs and bacon, which is uh, much better for you. When you're 14, 15, for me, um, when you get into the regional stuff, um, sort of it gets a bit more professional and gets a bit more looking at you as an overall athlete. And I think uh, nutrition is a fundamental pillar of that. So uh, it was first approached then um, seriously and we got sat down and sort of got given a meal plan. What do you eat on a daily basis? What can we do to help improve your gains in the gym as well as probably trimmed down a little bit for me. It was a key fundamental of my growth as a rugby player. So, um, and as the years have gone on, it's just got more, more crucial every year. So um, yeah, I think I, I ballooned it probably one, three, five when I, was, when I was 17 at school, buffet lunches and buffet dinners, but, uh, but now I'm, I'm down back a bit trimmer. So growing up in a family of seven, um, I think nutrition for us was, uh, yeah, it was, was pretty key. Um, my poor mum, you know, had to cook for us all the time. Um, so I think when we went to boarding school, she was quite relieved for me and my little brother. Um, but yeah, I think the key things for us, you know, just trying to get that, that protein, a key protein component every meal. Um, we sort of made that transition from, from cereal to, to eggs when we started getting a bit older. Um, so we'd, we'd probably take about 30 eggs, 30 eggs a week, you know, at least. Um, so I'm, I was sort of given that task of making the scrambled eggs, so I've sort of perfected it over time. My wife doesn't agree, but I think I have. Um, but yeah, I think just as time's gone on, you know, and, and as life changes, when you have kids of your own, um, trying to find find time to, to make sure you get a quality nutrition meal is quite tough, you know, sometimes. And, and also the, the demands of rugby, you know, if you're trying to hit two grams of protein per, per kilo body weight, it's really quite tough to, to get 10 chicken breasts in a day. So for me, I think um, having those supplements come in, you know, if that's a, a, a protein shake or a protein bar and um, with a coffee, you know, it's really nice new addition. So uh, I think that's one of the biggest changes I've found is trying to get enough protein in per day in the, in the time constraints I have. And um, that's where I feel Nutrition X has, has really come in and helped me out. 
I'd say having a family of my own now, um, I have to give full credit to my wife. Um, she's probably the, the main cook for us. Um, she does a great job, loads of really tasty meals and always changes it up. So um, I usually don't have much input. The only thing I do do is the kids love my scrambled eggs. Um, sh she'll say they won't, but um, that's the one thing I do every morning. Most mornings, you know, daddy's eggs. So um, yeah, you're going to hopefully see that later on. But uh, yeah, that's one of the things I'd, I'd probably take charge on. But I'd say that's probably one of the key things for me. A morning, mornings at school when I when I was in my last two years um, would be a bit different to what they are now. You know, I'd have a bowl of cereal, a croissant, and maybe a, a bacon roll. So it's a massive carb content, and I probably wouldn't be doing anything until four o'clock in the afternoon. So um, hence why I was a little bit heavier back back in my school days. So so now you know I'm, I'm starting training first thing in the morning. I need to get that fuel in straight away. Um, so that could be a protein shake point shake and banana or it could be scrambled eggs on toast so I'd say that's one of the key things as well that has had to change over time but no definitely my wife does the main brunt of the cooking and she does an excellent job I hope you're listening